everybody! This is Rose, the blogger from My Randomosity, and this is my video on my July Glamour Magazine Celebration of the Five Senses Birch Box. First off, if you've watched my June video, then you'll already be familiar with this. I have cracked the Birch Box website, sort of. Well, not really, just figure something easy that you can do to find out all the different uh, birch box variations that there are out there. If you're, if you haven't watched that video and if you're curious about learning how, then you need to go to either my June birch box blog or my June birch box video to learn how because I don't want to go over the system because my videos tend to be long enough. But anyway, for July, my box was variation number eight out of 31 different boxes. And uh, seeing some of the boxes made me really appreciate my box, but I gotta admit, seeing some of the other boxes made me slightly jealous. Now, in my blog, which all links will be in the down bar, I kind of list the things that really caught my attention that I saw that were in the other boxes. Uh, I'm gonna name a couple. Some of you guys got, uh, I think they were full size, but Laura Geller Double Dip Lipsticks in Caribbean Kiss. I was jealous of that. Some of you actually got beauty blenders which I just think is phenomenal because that is a very expensive sponge. Some of you guys got full size Icro Skinny liquid eyeliners and then some of you guys I need to watch some videos to, to see I'm assuming that they have to be like mini palettes but some of you guys got Stila in the Garden and Stila in the Light eyeshadow palettes. I think just the mini ones because it would totally not make sense for them to throw 30 something odd dollar palettes into these boxes. And then last but not least, some of you got twist band hair ties. Some of you may not care for them. I love them, so I would have loved to have gotten one in my box. Uh, the July celebration of the Five Senses box contained products that, uh, that are Glamour Magazine favorites and that celebrate the Five Senses of Summer. What is Birch Box? Well, if you guys are clueless to the program, hopefully you're not, um, I will put in the down bar links to my very first blogs and vlogs about Birchbox because that's where I basically talk about everything about the program. Now if you know enough about Birchbox and if you're just interested in just going ahead and joining the program, this is actually something that I've never thought before or thought about before. Um, you can by clicking on my referral link down the down bar now. They may be out of subscriptions, but let me just give you guys a suggestion. Put yourself on the waiting list because that's basically what I had to do. And I think I was on the waiting list for like about a month. And the following month, I got my invitation to join. It came in the typical pink outer box, which I'll show you. Now, I'll put the link to my actual blog review on this because I include all initial unboxing pictures there. But it came in the, the typical, you know, pink package that it always does. And then the special Glamour Magazine um, Five Senses Edition have a special sleeve on there, which looks like this with the Five Senses listed and Glamour Magazine listed right there. But once you took the sleeve off, you know, it was a, it was in the traditional birch box, cardboard box. Now when I opened the box, the first thing I saw was the actual you know, birch box, note card, postcard type thing that basically uh, talked about the box. I don't know if you can read that, but if you can, you can pause it. And then the other side, of course, lists all the different items that I received, along with descriptions, full sizes, and prices. And then they actually used uh, blue tissue paper this time, not the typical pink. And then um, the bundle on the inside was not wrapped in silver paper like they normally do, but in this pretty vibrant um, lime green color paper. And then uh, another card was inside the box. Uh, it basically talked about the Birch Box magazine, which I often forget about, I'll admit. And then the highlights from the July issue. Now, let me actually get into the items individually. I'm trying to charge my phone and use it as a guide at the same time. The first thing I'll mention or I'll talk about is the nail polish I got. 
and it is by Color Club, and the color is called Blooming, Blooming, which I'm, I'm sure they're making a pun about blooming, like a flower. The sample value is, uh, or the size is 0.25 ounces, and the value is $4. The retail is a half ounce, and it sells for $8. Use this green turquoise polish on fingers and toes all summer long. The next thing I got is by a company that I've never heard of, Coco du Soleil, the Gloss Modern or Modern High Gloss Mask. The sample is a half ounce and its value is at $4.88. The retail is four ounces for $39. Sun, heat, and pollution all strip our hair. Happily, this vitamin rich conditioning complex restores bounce and shine. The next thing that I'm going to talk about, I really, really, really like. And it's a fragrance sample. And it came in the typical, you know, fragrance vial that had the, the stopper and not the spray. Is the Harvey Prince a brand I've never heard of? Fragrance in Eau Flirt. I couldn't determine a sample value for this. Um, because there is no size indication on the sample. Um, the retail is 100 mil, which I think equals to roughly either 3 ounces or 3.4 ounces. Um, and that costs $98. And then here's what the inside, the inside of the packet and the back look light. The fragrance equivalent to a wink, this fanciful scent layers fresh, cit fresh citrus and jasmine notes over a base of lavender and pumpkin. Now I really 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 like this fragrance I'm really thinking about buying it because when I initially smelled it I thought it smelled kind of manly and I'm kind of into manly fragrances I've worn men's colognes before but then I saw how it had pumpkin in it and me being the random utopia of facts I know that pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls those are two f foods that the fragrances, oddly enough, are like aphrodisiacs for men. They stimulate sexual arousal. And when I went to the Birchbox website to read about the other notes, sure enough, it said it had notes of cinnamon in it. The next sample I got, and I might be butchering this name, is from the um, Mana Kadar Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. The sample was 0 0.01 ounces and the value was, was only 29 cents. The retail is one ounce for 29 and this is the little book it came in and that's how the product looks. And this was actually how the sample looked. This cult luminizing liquid adds a supermodel like sheen to skin. Mix it with your foundation or apply it as a highlighter to cheeks and brow bones. And then this is how the product actually looks. And I'm just going to blend it a little so you can see. It creates a really, really nice kind of bronzy. Don't know if you can make it out now. A nice bronzy glow. Actually, I really, really like the product. It reminds me of the NARS, I don't know what it's called because I don't really own any NARS products, but it's the Liquid Illuminator. Um, I remember swatching it when I was at the Sephora back in April. Now the next thing I got, I wasn't really too excited about when I initially saw these because there were a bunch of packets. Uh, but I got, but then when I realized that I got basically a packet of each product in this balancing kit, I felt a little better about it. Um, but it's from the company Suki. I might be pronouncing that wrong because I know it's a Belgian company and it's not an Asian brand or it's made in Bel Belgium at least. But I basically got a sample of every item that's in their balancing kit and I couldn't really determine a value for these. They do have like the sizes of each samples which is roughly uh, varies between 0 0.07 to 0 0.13 fluid ounces. But the kit is sold as a set for 40 bucks, I think. Yeah. Um, but it's a balancing kit that calms and purifies troubled skin, leaving it smooth and hydrated. I know I'm probably defeating the purpose of this kit because I basically have only tried one of the products yesterday, and that was the Concentrated Nourishing Toner. 
can't really say much because I've only gotten one packet to try, but it seemed to work fine. The sample kit set uh, also has a transformative cleansing clay, the pure facial moisturizing and balancing. I'm thinking this is a, a night oil. They recommend it. They recommend using this at night. But for some skin, con but for some skin conditions, you can try it during the day. I got the balancing day lotion and the exfoliant foaming cleanser. The toner seemed to work fine. I noticed on the cotton that it got, you know, I saw a lot of dirt and stuff that was left over on the uh, the cotton. But that's really that's all I can really say about it. The next thing I got was uh, I got two lifestyle extras. Um, the Laura Bar in Uber, the Roasted Nut Roll. This bar has a value of $1.75. It retails, uh, uh, the variety pack of six retails for $27.95. The latest addition to our snack drawer, these healthy and satisfying bars are packed with dry nuts and fruits. You can't really go by my opinion because I do not like nuts. But, you know, I forced myself to eat this yesterday. It tasted fine. It basically tasted like a, a salty nut bar. Um, so if you're into that, you may like this snack bar. And then the last thing I got was wrapped around this little card, which I actually might keep to store these things so they don't get tangled. Um, I know with this extra was a uh, Glamour has come up with a Getting Pretty playlist with Spotify, which I've not listened to yet. But they were the earbuds. Couldn't come up with a value for these since um, they're basically not for sale on the Birchbox website. But they designed these neon headphones. Just pair them with your favorite playlist. I am actually very happy to see these because earbuds are a necessity of mine. I run and uh, I have a current pair that I think I'm going to feature in my July favorites. But it's always good to have more than one pair. I run. I normally watch things on my cell phone while I'm in the break room at my job. And then plus, when I travel and I'm not driving, you know, I don't want people being disturbed. So, the total value of my July Birch Box, which included three items that I couldn't really determine a value for, only really totals to $10.92, which is totally the box just barely giving me my money's worth. But then again, I know the value of it is higher than that since, you know, it has three items that I couldn't really determine a value for. And then also, I actually do like my box, so, you know, its value I can totally overlook for the month. Now, if you're only interested in hearing what I have to say about my July box, you can totally quit watching now because I'm quickly going to review two things. One thing that I got in my first box, which was the April box, and then one thing that I got, um, I think last month in my June box. First thing is the Be Fine Skin Care Exfoliating Cleanser, and this is the packet that I got in my April box. I love this cleanser. It is definitely going to be a July favorite, but it cleans my face and exfoliates it uh, just the right amount where I feel like it is definitely getting all the dead skin off my face every time I use it. And then the fact that it's all natural makes it even better. It almost feels like I'm washing my face with brown sugar oatmeal. A very pleasant experience. We'll be purchasing this. And then the next thing, uh, I'll review really quickly is the Staniac Balm that I got. Hopefully you can see that in my June box if I'm not mistaken. This is the very first stain that I've tried. Um, I will admit the color intimidated me at first but I ended up liking it. It gave me a really natural uh, rosy flush so don't just make assumptions by the little bit of color that you can see in this thing. It gives you a very natural rosy flush. And when I used this, I actually layered it on my face twice. Unfortunately, I only got to try this on my cheeks. I didn't get to try this on my lips. 
Well, that is it. My next videos will be on my July Beauty Army. I actually did not skip this month and I actually just got it in today. Um, and then, of course, I should be expecting my July My Glam in my Beauty Box 5 box. And I'm also still waiting on my very first Holt Look order on some e.l.f. cosmetics that I ordered. So if you want to stay tuned for that, definitely click, click subscribe. I can't talk. Um, again, this is Rose, the blogger from My Randomosity, and thank you for watching this crap. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment or message me. And until next time, I will see you guys probably, definitely, fairly soon. Bye!